I'm Elisa Casas. Thanks for joining me on Gab with Elisa Profiles. Remember when you were a little girl and you had a hairbrush in front of the mirror? Mm, even better, remember when you would sing in the shower how good it sounded? Well, guess what? We have a young lady that we're going to profile today who sounds good hairbrush or microphone in the shower or on the stage. Our guest today on Gab with Elisa Profiles is Sarah Gray. Coming up in just a moment, we're going to talk to her a little bit about music, the music industry, how she got started, faith, family, friendship, and where she's headed. That's all coming up in just a moment, so kick back and join us. We'll be right back with Gab with Elisa Profiles. Being your best is all about how you feel inside and out. If you feel good, you look good. Hi, I'm Don Campbell. Join me on Metricast Channel 10 for Be Your Best. I'll show you creative ways to dress for success, give you quick health and fitness tips, and daily ideas for living the life you were meant to live. Be Your Best airs weekdays exclusively on Metricast Channel 10 and is brought to you by Fitz Auto Mall. Hi, this is James Laporte. Do you know what St. Mary's County is buzzing about? If you don't, then tune into Metricast Channel 10 to find out. The Buzz is a weekly entertainment program featuring artists, performers, and entertainers from the area. Find out where the hot spots for entertainment are this weekend. We've got the scoop on all the fun each week on The Buzz. The Buzz is brought to you on Metricast Channel 10 by Birch Propane. Efficient, environmentally friendly propane. Call for details, 301-373-2131. Welcome back to Gab with Elisa Profiles. Today we profile Sarah Gray. Sarah is an up and coming country artist from our wonderful community of Southern Maryland. Sarah, it is so nice to talk to you. I do have to let people know that I've known of you, kind of been associated with you for about three years. You've been coming into the studio at Metrocast Channel 10 and you've done a number of things, but it's been such a pleasure and joy to watch you as your career has progressed. Thank you so much. I love everyone here and I'm happy. Thank you guys for having me back. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about you and kind of set the stage and then we're going to back up and talk about history but talk a little bit about who you are um, where you are with your incredible music career well um, I guess it all started out when I was little my dad was a singer and was you know, had his own band and I've just grown up with singing ever since I was small um, and when I was three years old that was the first time that I've ever sang in public that's when it all started I was on a cruise ship and um, <laughs> there was a talent show and I sang a song from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and um, did like some silly dance moves and uh, I, I really I've just been singing ever since I, I don't remember me without singing okay you were three years old three years old and you got up and sang Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in yes. front of an entire cruise ship uh, yes an entire cruise ship and I told my parents um, we were going down, and they said, it's okay, Sarah, we're going to go sing. And I said, no, I don't want to do it. And they called my name when I got there, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. So they didn't bring the video camera. They didn't bring anything. So it's not on videotape, but it's something that I always talk about. And they said that I was just singing and dancing and having a great time. But I, I, I honestly, I don't remember me, remember me without singing. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about your family. You said your dad sang, and so music has really been a big part of your entire family life. Yes, 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 my dad has been awesome um, and I mean and you know what I can't my mom too my mom I give her credit because she, she can't sing a lick but <laughs> but I can remember me singing her saying Sarah sing louder sing louder or even with the stage presence like the hand motions and everything like that she she's been such an awesome help with but both of my parents have just been completely supportive 100 percent just strong holds and just very amazing people. I'm very blessed to have both of them in my life. And I, I think that's really important and I really wanted to talk about that because I'm hoping for some of our viewers watching that they can learn about you because you're you're adorable. You're just oh, such a sweet thanks. and friendly presence when you come anywhere you go. I um, have had the pleasure of seeing you speak to a, a middle school group of girls and I loved how you spoke to each of the girls individually. You remembered names, you talked to them and I know that when you're in a certain age of life it's really important to have somebody to look up to mm. and I, I think that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed about getting to know you because I saw this whole group of girls flock around you. You had a smile and a minute and a picture and an autograph for each of these girls and I think I think that comes from knowing inside not only are you a performer and a singer and you love that but you know who you are and what kind of a person you want to be yeah no definitely and I'm, I'm 
very thankful for the background that my parents have provided and the faith that they've given. And um, if anything, through all, through all of this singing, that would be my ultimate goal. If I could in any way help, help girls and help them to realize, hey, like, you can live God's way, you can do it God's way, mm -hmm. and it's still, you have this, you know, this awesome life that God's just going to lead you through. Um, mm -hmm. If I could just be any example, you know, any little example, that, that would be my ultimate goal for this. And, you know, just uh, talking to those girls was so awesome and such a cool experience. And I, I was just very thankful. They were very nice to me, so sweet. And um, if there's any way that I could bring anybody closer to the Lord, that would be, you know, the ultimate goal of everything. So. I, and, and I think, you know, there, there's something about every person that makes them unique and special. Um, and I think when you talked about being three years old and being brave enough to stand up and sing, you know, in front of a huge crowd of strangers, I think that's something that is unique and a special gift that's inside of you. And you obviously have a sense of self-value, self-worth, self-confidence. How do you think that you can encourage girls, particularly young girls, to be able to find something like that within themselves? Well, you know, I think that I actually had this experience over the weekend. I have a, a I went to my cousin's baby shower and there's a little girl there and she came up to me and she's um, in the second grade and she's like, I'm going to sing at my talent show on Monday and I'm so scared, I'm scared and all the other girls in my class aren't scared and um, I related to her because like, when I was three, it was e I think when you're that young, it, it doesn't really connect what you're doing maybe, sure. you know, you just get up there and do it. But I remember as I got older that, you know, you would get these butterflies or these feelings of, you know, fear or whatever. And I can remember being at dance recitals, I'm about to do like a so song and dance solos and things like that, and being on the side of the stage with my dad and being like, hey dad, I'm scared, and him mm -hmm. like, hey, it's okay, it's normal for you to feel this way. Let's say a prayer, and he would give it completely all over to God. And I was able to share that with the girl, um, the little girl in second grade who's doing the talent show. Actually, the talent show is today, so I was saying a prayer for her this morning. Um, but I was able to share that with her and tell her, hey, I was your age, I felt the same exact way. So, and just being able to relate to her, let her know, and let everyone know, hey, everyone feels this way. It's, mm -hmm. how, it's how you handle it, you know? You can either be overcome by that fear, or you can overcome the fear itself. And the only way you can do that is if you, you, you just pray, you know? Right. And, and God will get you through that, and, and that's what I did. And that was the example that my parents were able to be for me. And, um, if you know, if I could share that with anybody, that would be that would be cool, and you know, to help them get through. Absolutely. Now, give them the rest of the story because I know you're scared right before you get on stage and once you get started. But once you get on stage, oh, so yep. So we, my dad grabbed my hand and we said a prayer, and you know, you went out on the stage, and the first two, the music starts. The first two seconds, you forget all about it. You know, <laughs> you start right. singing and you're having an awesome time, and and God just takes over, and he he did. He filled filled you with a peace and a confidence. And, um, and I mean, I do, I do that every time before I go to sing. I think it's completely normal to feel, you know, to feel that, oh, I'm about to sing, and you kind of feel that excitement in your stomach, but there, I can't, there's not a time that before I sing that I don't pray. I'm always, always praying because, hey, I, I can't do this by myself. Like, hey, God, help me, and help me to do a great job on my voice, and help me to shine for you, and... And, you know, I, I, I have to. <laughs> well, you know, I, I love that you've been so, um, so vulnerable and so real about being nervous and scared to get up on stage and talk about that. Because I think that one thing um, that our society doesn't always do is doesn't really prepare girls and say, hey, you're going to have a whole bunch of emotions and they're going to be really strong in any given situation. They're going to be very strong emotions, but you step past some of them, whether it's fear or, or uh, being confused or what have you, you step past them. And if you have a strong faith, background to really rely on then it makes such a difference mm. and I think just saying hey this is real and it's it's okay now let's take one more step yes exactly okay. I 100% okay. agree good all right well we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back I want to talk about your music because you write as well as sing and I yes. want to talk about that because I know there are a lot of people that are out there that say how do you even start how do you, how do, you do that <laughs> all right we'll do that in just a moment we continue in just a moment with Gabby the Music Files with Sarah Gray. Leonardtown, a most convenient place for shopping, dining, or even just wandering. Leonardtown, a most entertaining place for things to do, sights to see, and fun for everyone. Leonardtown, a most relaxing place for a quick visit, 
lazy afternoon or a long weekend. Watch Leonardtown, a most convenient place. A new program exclusively on Metrocast Channel 10, brought to you by Dan Burris' Old Town Insurance. We're driving in your Jeep, we got the top down. To pull over, make me get out. And I look around, yeah. You could not know what you were looking for. Trying to fill a void, just wanting something more. Stays with you forever, you've said a thousand times. You won't forget me ever, you always 